Okay, what we're going to look at is how to draw zero economic profit, super normal profit, and economic loss in perfect competition for the individual firm. Okay, the first thing you have to remember is how to draw your average total cost curve. Okay, if this is your marginal cost curve, your average total cost curve must touch marginal cost at its minimum. So the average total cost curve is U-shaped, it's going down, 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 touches the marginal cost curve, goes up. Okay, that should be one continuous line. Okay, because average total cost is equal to marginal cost when average total cost is at its minimum point. Minimum point. Okay, so your average total cost curve is U-shaped. Average total cost curve is U-shaped. And the marginal cost curve cuts it at the bottom. Okay, cuts it at the bottom. So you got to keep that in mind. Okay, zero economic profit. Zero economic profit. Price will be equal to average total cost at Q star. Go, draw our curves, price taker, price is equal to marginal revenue, equal to the demand curve, draw your marginal cost curve, and then we set marginal revenue equal to marginal cost to find Q star, and we find Q star. Okay. Now we claim this firm is making zero economic profit, which means price is equal to average total cost at Q star. So you draw your average total cost curve in such a way to ensure that it intersects, uh, average total cost intersects marginal cost at that point over there. So it's going down, touches it and goes up. Okay, I've tried my best to make it touch. There you go, zero economic profit. Okay, so that's zero economic profit, graphically. Okay. Then we look at a situation where you're making super normal profit. Super normal economic profit. Okay, price must be greater than average total cost at Q star. Just draw your curve, change the color, I'll draw marginal cost, marginal revenue equals marginal cost, we find Q star, we are producing Q star, right? And now, price must be greater than average total cost at Q star. So when you draw your average total cost curve, average total cost must be below price at Q star. So you draw your average total cost curve, it's falling, it's falling, it's falling, touches the marginal cost curve, it starts to go up, it starts to go up, okay, average total cost. This firm is now going to be making a profit, it's going to be making a profit equal to this area of the rectangle. Okay, because this is your ATC. At Q star, ATC is less than P star, right? P star could be $10. ATC could be $8. Q could be 10 units. Then the super normal profit for this firm, the profit will simply be equal to 10 minus 8 times 10, 2 times 10, $20. Okay, we're not asking you to calculate it, but there you go. Okay, average total cost curve, average total cost curve is below your price at Q star. Below, you're making a profit. And then you have your economic loss. 
Okay, with economic loss, price is less than average total cost at Q star. Set marginal revenue equal to marginal cost, and you find Q star. Okay, now price has to be less than average total cost. So average total cost has to be on top of price. So you draw your average total cost on top of price. It's falling, falling, falling. Average total cost touches the marginal cost curve, starts to go up. This firm now is making an economic loss. It is making an economic loss equal to this area over here. Because at this point, price is less than average total cost. Average total cost here could be, oops, average total cost. If average total cost is $11 and price is $10 and quantity is 10 units, you can calculate that. Economic loss is going to be equal to 11 minus 10 times 10. 1 times 10, this firm is making an economic loss of $10, right? Because I put economic loss, it's $10, right? You could have written it this other way. You could have written it uh, like this. In fact, this is how you should write it, I guess. You could simply write it like this. It is simply the difference between P star minus ATC multiplied by Q star. 10 minus 11 times 10 minus 1 times 10 equals minus $10. Economic loss of $10. So that's really how you should have done it rather than how I did it the first way. Okay. So in the short run, if you are making super normal profit, it will be unsustainable. Right? You cannot continue with this. What will happen is because of our assumption of free entry, new firms will enter. New firms will enter. Okay, This will increase supply in the market, lower price, until you will end up at zero economic profit. Right? So, in the long run, you have zero economic profit. And it's the same story in the short run if you're making economic losses. We also assume here you have free exit. Costs you nothing to leave the industry. All firms are identical. If you are making a loss, all the other firms are making a loss. Some firms leave. Supply will fall, price will rise until you end at zero economic profit. So in the long run, all you can have in perfect competition is zero economic profit.